Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and yes, Shenzhen IO is the current darling of my gaming system, and my most hated thing is this bloody solitaire game that has been made by the boss's daughter or something like that. But I finally figured it out. Once you get the dragon cards, once you can figure out how to solve for those, and we use the empty rows, everything just works. And you can feel proud that you finally beat that little... Ah, uh, little, little scamp. That little scamp's little game, oh yes. Boy. Yes, it is in fact possible to beat this. And now back to work so I can... Okay, what are they saying? Please enjoy a game something it... Aw. Does anyone read Mandarin? Okay, well having beat the boss's daughter's solitaire game... It begins. I got us an incredible deal with a major esports personality, the Solid Steel Gamer. Her team's contracted with us to make light up signs that actually animate for our fans. As long as we can keep the cost down, they're going to want tons of these to hand out at matches. Okay, let's open in the concept thing and uh, let's start working on it. So, animated esports sign. Click 0 and 1, our output's connected to dill display segments. That's these two. Drink 0, 1, and 2 are also outputs connected. And we need to do this. So, oh, and here's the sign here. Presumably the various parts, I don't know what that says. It probably means drink and click like a pro, because that's what she's doing. So let's actually do the clicking here. We do this, and we do this. And so here, what we need to do is send this high and then this low. So we're going to move 100 into P0 and then we're going to move 0 into P1 Then we're going to sleep and then we're going to repeat this except we're going to do it the other way. Move 0 into P0 and move 100 into P1 and then sleep 1. That should just work. So if we test this, that's it. Uh, Step, excellent. See that? That totally works. Okay, now to the next section. So we have three inputs here. This bigger, fancier one still only has two analog outputs, so it's not actually that interesting. We have the MC4000. Um, where can we put these things? Let's just stick it here right now, because I think what I want to do is connect up these two here, right? Yeah, that should totally work. Okay, so this thing is going to have to control the drink 0 and the drink 1. So it's going to have to go sleep for 6 and then go low and high. Actually, it's going to have to go high, so that's one instruction. Sleep and then 2, 3, sleep, that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, but we... We're going to run out of instructions if we do it this way, right? So, we could... Okay, you know what I'm going to do here? Okay, I'm going to change this. So, what I want to do is match my instruction count here, right? So, I can only fit eight instructions. I could use a bigger one here, but I have a cunning plan. A really cunning plan. Actually, I wonder if I can do this. Let's see if this works. Oh, yes. This is my cunning plan. Okay, so what I've done is I've looked at the number of changes. Every transition takes two instructions, right? So there's two transitions here, that's four instructions. And there's two in transitions in this one, so that's another four instructions. That's the eight instructions that fits in here. This one has up, down, up, down. So that's going to be another eight instructions there. Therefore, I should be able to do it with the cheap-ass MC4000 which is obviously half as good as MC8000 or whatever. So, starting things out, we're going to move 100 into P0 for the, the beginning of the drinking. Then we're going to sleep, sleep for 6. And then we're going to move 0 into P0, sleep 1. Then move 100 into P1 and then sleep again for two this time 
then we're going to set this low, so move 0 to P1, sleep 1, and finally we should be back in our initial state. So let's try advancing this. Excellent! So we've got three of them and all we've got is this middle drinking operator thing. So this is just pulse, pulse, pulse. So sleep 6, sleep 6, move move 100 into P1, then sleep for 1, move 0 and switch it back to low, sleep 1, add sleep 2 in this case, move 100. Man, typing this in is really hard to do while you're actually talking at the same time, because what you're thinking is not what you're typing, which can be very very confusing for the brain. My poor simple brain can't keep up with this level of sophistication in Shenzhen technology. There, look at her clicking and drinking like a pro gamer that she is. Hmm, some people have figured out how to do it using only, costing only six yuan. Yuan. Yuan? I, 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 I've never figured out how you say that. I'm told it's a single syllable. Yuan. Maybe you can do it with the MC6000? I don't know. Anyway, let's return to the email. The end result looks great. I love the way it looks like the solid steel gamer, because it's an uppercase, obviously. It's really clicking the mouse button and drinking her soda. This is going to be huge! This is how this guy speaks, like his capitalized stuff is really loud. Rubbish audio thing. So a contract comes in to build a piece of audio kit. Sounds fun, right? I've always liked audio. This client promises that their little box will deliver crisp highs and booming lows all in perfect balance. Then I see their advert happens to include the much vaunted algorithm that powers this thing. Ha! Go on and take a look at your, for yourself. I should mention I put a copy of said advert on your desk. Aha! Just look in the pile of papers marked supplemental data, and let me just fold through. Okay, I see it. Incredible sound at a breakthrough price. Sounds impossible. Nah, sounds like harmonic maximization. Uh, okay. At the Sunnyvale Institute for Audio Engineering, we have done decades of advanced audio research, but even we know that a truly breakthrough audio device only comes along once in a generation. So it was no small amount of trepidation when our scientists in the lab introduced us to something they'd been working on for the last few years. Would this be just another piece of audio gear destined to gar the other dust on shelves at our local electronic store? Blah, 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 blah. Propeller heads, and they tell us. Okay, so we have the formula here, and it says audio out equals audio in minus 50 times 4 plus 50. So basically what they're doing is they're amplifying the signal. Okay, so audio in is a simple odd input connected to an audio source. Audio out is a simple output connected to an audio receiver being listened to by some unsuspecting audiophile. Maximize is a simple input connected to a switch. The signal from audio in should be copied to audio out, applying the harmonic, ma harmonic maximization algorithm when the maximize switch is on. Because, of course, an audio file is going to sit there with his finger on the button to maximize the harmonics. Now, one thing to notice here, these are analog inputs, maximize is like a, a thing. And looking at these, right, you only have, you can't connect this to that because that's like a data bus signal, right? So we need at least P0 and P1 need to be used to the, with the audio out, right? The MC6000 despite being 2,000 better, still only has two analog inputs. So what I think I need to do is to have an analog, oh, hold on, an analog input to this, which then connects to this one, right? And so what this does is it handles the signal like acquisition or whatever, and basically tells this thing how it works. Right, that, so that's what's gonna happen. So the first thing we need to do is read in the maximized signal and send it to X1. So all we're going to do is move P0 to X1. So this is now like a more complicated circuit. And then we're going to sleep for one. How simple is that? And actually taking a look, yeah. You know, we could figure out that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 
Uh, I guess it's 11, so we're just gonna sleep the all- we're not gonna cheat here. We could try and cut, save some power by knowing exactly what the test was doing. Okay, next, we're gonna read our audio signal into the accumulator, right? So we're gonna move P0 into the accumulator, right? And now, we're gonna test if the X signal is greater than zero, right? So if X zero is greater than one, then we do optional instructions. And this is where we do the harmonic maximization algorithm. And so the first step was we subtract 50, right? Sub 50, then we multiply by four, and then we add 50. And then we need to move the accumulator to the output, and then we sleep for one, right? And that should be your loop. Da 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 da, listen to that music being harmonic, maximized, maximized. Yes! However, I'm looking at this, and I know a little bit, bit about mathematics, and I know that we can optimize this, right? So, I'm thinking, what we do is we subtract 50 and then we multiply by 4. So what we're really doing is multiplying one side by 4 and subtracting 100, uh, but subtracting 200 and then adding 50. So all we're really doing, what we really need to do is multiply it, multiply it by 4 and then s subtract 150, right? This is what I'm going to do. Like, watch this. This is totally going to work. My mathematics will not fail me. Sub 150. Let's simulate. Yes! Harmonic maximization with one less instruction, I show you. That is what mathematics does for you. Even the humble electrical, electronic engineer can do, make use of mathematics and stuff. Let's return to the email. It's actually kind of funny because somebody suggested that this was like writing code with boxing gloves. Holy crap, this thing is awesome. I hooked one of these babies up to my stereo at home and blew the speakers clear off. Does the job, no question. Amazing! Yes. Okay, so now we have a self-driving car stuck in a rogue loop. We can deal with that later. Baron Von Sch The Baron Von Schnapps is in the house, y'all. I was out drinking last night with left someone of the company that owns a the brand. There's a drinking game and they're promoting it that's hella fun and off the rails. He must have been to Oakland using hella. You know, it's an East Bay thing, I thought. I made a deal to supply them with little personal scorekeepers they can give away at their events. What's the game? That counts as a point. What would be a foul? Surely not individual drinks. I don't remember the the actual rules. <laughs> I hope you remembered the deal. Okay, so point and foul are simple inputs connected to buttons. Display is an X bus output connected to a numerical display. The counter should keep track of the count starting at zero and constantly update. When point transitions from low to high, the count should be incremented. When foul transmissions to low to high, the count should be decremented. Okay, I think this is going to be complicated. So I'm going to use one of these controllers and I'll hook point up like this and the foul up here and we'll take x3 and that will be my output. Okay, so now let's take a look at the verification test. First thing I want to see is, right, nowhere in the verification does it have a case where we're hitting both buttons simultaneously. So I think, okay, so what I could do, let me just see this, right, what we're going to score, hold the score in the accumulator and that will hold, like, status. So, we just need to figure out which one is, is high, right? So, if, uh... Okay, so test greater than... or test greater than... This is a P1. P1... Ah, yeah, P1 is greater than zero. I can... move... A value of 1 into dat, right? Else, we can do a foul one, we can do a test greater than p0, 0, and then move 2 into dat. Right, there we go, and we can move 0 into dat by the default status, right? So that'll tell us, like, which logic path we're going to follow. It can only be one or the other. Hmm. 
you know what, actually, I need to, no, I need to hold, figure out, okay, that's a really bad plan because I need to hold state here. Okay, never mind. So Dat needs to know whether, Dat is going to hold the status of whether the button was being held down, right? So when, so the logical thing to do would be like test greater than P1 is greater than zero, uh, then like add one, right? That's, that would be the optional thing to do, add one. And then set move one into dat, right? But before we do this, aha, ha, 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 ha. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. And then the next thing we're gonna do is jump. Okay, you know what? We're gonna have a, a right here. So, like, fin. What we're gonna do here is move the accumulator to X3, and then sleep for one, right? So after this, we're gonna jump to thin, and then, 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 the other option, so if, if P1 wasn't greater than zero, we're now gonna do a test greater than, see if P0 is greater than zero, and if that's the case, we're gonna add, uh, we're gonna subtract one, sub one, and then, move one into the dat field and then we'll fall through to the finish field right but now what we need is a bit of a check that will basically say if dat is set right so tgt dat is dat is already greater than zero we're gonna jump to fin right jump to fin and now we need a way for this to get reset when neither of the buttons is being pushed. Ah, uh, let me just see. So I could have like two tests here. Oh, oh, I know what I'm going to do. The only, so the only time they are both equal is when they are off. Look, there's no corresponding peaks. So if I just... Uh, test if equals, if these are equal, uh, P0, uh, P, P0 and P1, right? If those are equal, then we set the data to 2, right? And set date move 0 into dat. Right, uh, there we go. So these things are never set at the same time. Let's see if this works. Oh, yes! Yes! Um, the Baron is in the house. Yes. Baron Von Schnapps. Oh, nice. Production cost is extra low and the power usage is pretty good. I should be quite proud of that and I will be quite proud of that. Let's return to the email and perhaps uh, call an end to this episode. If you can't remember the rules of the game you were playing, how sure you actually made the deal? Because they sent us a case in a variety of flavors. It's very tasty stuff. Come try some. It's already too late for me, but you can still save yourselves. Heed my warning. Do not drink of the Baron Von Schnapps. Bye then. See you in the next life. Okay, and I will see you actually in the next episode. Until then, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.